Ma'am, can you hear us? No? Good morning. Good morning. I, I had a little bit of sound issue here on my end. I'm sorry. So I missed oh. your song, your beautiful song. <laughs> Ma'am, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you, friend, ma'am? Yeah, we can hear each other now. I, I wasn't able to hear you earlier, but it was problem on my end. I took care of it. So. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Uh, here is Paras and Paras will learn the uh, will translate. Subhas, Subhas. Uh, Subhas, Subhas. Subhas, no? Go use it, ma'am. Now you can pray and you can start the class, ma'am. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. So let me pray for you first and then we'll go into our class. So dear Heavenly Father, I thank you and praise you for each and every student here in this class. And I ask, oh Lord, that you would give us your spirit of wisdom, of revelation, open our hearts, open our minds, open our ears, open our spirits so that we may hear your word and understand what you are saying this morning. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. Amen. So we're going to talk about the kings. Uh, the first king, especially uh, Israel under mon monarchy, the first when they started having kings. So this morning we are going to look at three different people in the Bible. We will look at Samuel, Israel's last judge. Saul, Israel's first king, and David, Israel's second king. Okay. Okay, so here are some things to, that we should think about as we go forward in our own individual ministries using what we're going to learn here to th this morning. Three things that we should think about. First, uh, what brings revival? This is the question we should ask ourselves. What will bring revival? The first thing is, is uh, prayer, especially a praying mother. The second thing is a chastened people or a people that are disciplined by God and they know that what they're doing is wrong. Okay, and the third thing is a faithful prophet or a faithful preacher. So we're going to look at a woman whose name is Hannah, and she was a woman who was unable to have children. She went to the Lord and she cried out for a son. Through Hannah's prayer, she was given not just a son, but a prophet and a judge. So 
So could it be that the Lord allowed Hannah to be barren, to be without children, so that she would be forced to cry out and intercede and pray for a son? Hannah asked for a son, and instead the Lord gave her a prophet and a judge. Then Hannah, as a thank offering, she gave her son back to the Lord. During the time that Samuel was growing up, Israel had wandered away from the Lord. They forgot who God was. They forgot that the Lord led them out of out of the bond slavery of Egypt and into their own promised land. Because of their unfaith, they became corrupt. I'm sorry, because of their unfaithfulness, they were constantly be attacked by their enemies. God was not protecting them. At this time, the Lord raised up a faithful man of God who became a righteous judge and prophet, and his name is Samuel. Yes, Samuel pointed the people back to God. As we see to as we learn about Samuel and how to bring a move of God into our regions, we can learn from here and how to implement them, how to put them into practice. Uh, through this teaching about Samuel, we can we can learn the following. We can pray, we can repent and lead our people into repentance. And we can speak out and prophesy what the Lord calls us out, calls us to speak out and to prophesy. Those three things. While Samuel was prophet and judge, uh, the people enjoyed, the people of Israel enjoyed great peace during his guidance, during the time he was a leader. Samuel served the people for at least 40 years as judge, 
During those years, Israel returned to the Lord and under Samuel's guidance, they had peace with their, all of the enemies around them, including the Philistines. Uh, this was completely different, a complete contrast compared to the years when Eli, who was both high priest and judge before Samuel, judged Israel. It was so different from that time. Uh, so let's look at what Israel was like before Samuel became their judge and after Samuel became their judge. Before Samuel, Eli was both high priest and judge. He was a man of God, but he was a very weak leader. His sons, who were supposed to take over as priests, were full of evil and immorality. They were corrupt, they were stealing sacrifices before they were even offered, and they seduced the women who worked in the tabernacle. Like, <laughs> So because they uh, were they were not following God, Israel was um, now not, no, I'm sorry, Israel was no longer protected by God and the Philistines attacked them. Uh, so the priest took the Ark of the Covenant, the most holy article object in the tabernacle, and brought it into battle, thinking that the Ark of the Covenant would protect them from their from their enemies. <laughs> As a result, they lost the uh, the Philistines stole the um, Ark of the Covenant, and the Israelites lost the battle. Okay, who would like to read First Samuel chapter five, verses two through seven? Adi, 
तब उन्हीं हरले दागों ले उठाए रह जैसे के स्थान में रखी दिए तो रह भोली पल तो बिहाने जब उन्हीं हर उठे तब दागों चाहे प्रभु प्रभु का संदूक को और भी घोटो करे रह लड़ी रहे को देखे अन्य तेज का दाव को रह दूर हाथ चाहे छीनना भी न भाई रह संभार में पड़ी रहे का थिए दागों को सारी मात्रा त्यहाँ खुताले के देनन तब प्रम प्रभु का हाथ को प्रभु अजदोत का रतेश को औरी परी बस ने मानी सारू माथी पड़े हो वहाँ ले उन्हें हले दिन सम दुखा दिनों भायो रा गिरखा को रोधी ले सादा उन्हें भायो अनि उन्हें हर उन्हें हर को इलाका मा बुल का बुल मुसा हरू निश्चे उन्हें हर का सार भरी ने मृत्यु रा बिना छायो तब परमेश्वर संदूक लाई यहाँ हमी संग रखने हो दे न की न भने वहाँ को हाथ को प्रभु हमी माथी रा हमरो देवता दागुन माथी बड़ी कुछ so the Philistines put the Ark of Covenant, the the um Israel's most holy article, they put it into their temple to their god Dagon. And this is an interesting thing. Their god Dagon kept falling over in front of the Ark of Covenant. Not only that, the Philistines suffered quite a bit of sickness while the Ark was in their possession. Who would like to read First Samuel chapter five, verses eleven and twelve? <laughs> the philistines decided to send the ark of covenant back to israel because of the tumors because of what was plaguing them and when that they did this their their plague stopped one thing I forgot to mention is that when Israel lost the battle, not only did they lose the battle, but they lost um, Eli's both of Eli's sons and Eli also died through that. In one day, Eli lost all his sons and he lost his life. In one day, Eli's whole family line was completely wiped out. After Eli's death, I'm sorry, the only one who could take over was his foster son, was Samuel. So after Eli's death, Samuel served as judge of Israel. Who would like to read First Samuel chapter seven, verses three through six? Chapter seven, verses three through six. 
सात को दस देखि Amen. Thank you. So Samuel commanded the people of Israel to put away their, their false gods and to return to the Lord. And they did that. They, they obeyed Samuel and they obeyed God and they all returned to the Lord. And then the Philistine, uh, then uh, the Philistine, Again, they were attacked by their enemies, but this time the outcome was different. They fasted, they prayed, and they and they were able to win the battle. Who would like to read First Samuel chapter seven, verse verses ten through twelve? Our thus dehi para pani 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 Thank you. Amen. So, um, so Samuel always sought the Lord. He sought the Lord for to for the wisdom to lead the people, and he guided the people to to follow God and God alone. And the Lord always answered him. And so during those 40 years of leadership that Samuel was leader and prophet and judge over um, Israel, Israel enjoyed peace. Samuel who would like to read first Samuel chapter seven verses fourteen through seventeen? <laughs> Israelite, <laughs> So during those 40 years, 
not only did Israel enjoy peace, but they also were able to regain the land that they lost to the Philistines through Eli and his sons. If Samuel's home was in Rama, but when he was serving as judge and prophet, he spent his time traveling around the country as a leader. He became a circuit rider, traveling from Bethel to Gilgal to Mizpah, Mizpah and he was overseeing and administering, administering, administering the affairs of the people. He, he, so he traveled around and he was more, he was accessible to the people. Samuel ko exact usko kahar chahi Rama ma thiyo tar ho chahi yada harik desh harik chahi desh ma thau aru ma puge na chahi yada leader jaste bhar na nee garde hindi ko ki garde chahi sabse pura hai chahi hindi bethel dekhi Gilga Ramishpa and jiste garde sabse thau ma hai chahi man shala chahi shivagar ne kaam aru garde thiyo tar ho chahi arthi ma phar kine chahi apko kaam mein phar kine garde thiyo. Who would like to read Acts chapter 3, verse 24 in the New Testament? Amen. Amen. Samuel established a school of prophets at his home in Rama. He introduced a different way of leadership that what was than what was used in the past. He raised up prophets who would bring correction and guidance to the leaders of Israel as well as to the people. And he Samuel let's say like school Leadership was a very Tarika, Kunkun Tarika Ligana seconds at Tikura, Ruse, Sikhani Kam Gurno by Junse, Ilevan. Just let's say you're a Sudhar, Leona Saktoani, a leader, or let's say Cossarze, I'm Lee Hibnu Parsa, Banikura, and Manis or Lessi Cossari Sio Gardia, Cossari, Arumanis, like your own Apu and Cossari, Nikura, and say, while it's a Sikhani Kam Gurno by Jun, Ile, Pasma, Prit Kupusta Kapano, you can meet the Jundosa. So Samuel gathered the, the sons of the prophets. He gathered the prophets around them, and the prophets traveled with him. So very simply, a prophet is one who speaks for God. A prophet prays, he hears from the Lord, and he speaks what is here, what he hears. A prophet today can be a preacher, one who preaches what he hears the Lord calling him to preach, what he hears the Lord saying for him to say to his people. Ani sadharan artha ma chai agam bhakta bhan ko chai parmishwar ko tarpa bhaata bol nahi bhikhi jo chai prathya gaad cha parmishwar ko kura le sun cha ra jay sun cha tehi kura chai us le bhani kaam gaad cha. But even though Samuel implemented checks and balances through the establishing of the school of prophets, Israel was not happy. They wanted their country to look like all the other countries surrounding them. All the other countries had kings, so Israel wanted a king. <laughs> School called it up when Israel and say, Was some say, Cosum, Tiena, Taratina, let's say, Josari, Aru, Aru, this or Matta Josari, and it's after go after Raja Titus and Nathan Tina Lebani. Permission let's say Raja Nama, permission let's say Raja Ponona Tahina, Taratina, Tiora, Sarik Afale Tifas again, Raja, Kumab Garutinia. Israel began to demand for a king to lead them. They rejected. The Lord's form of leadership, it was God's plan for them to have judges rule over them, but they wanted man's form of leadership. The people of Israel wanted a king, and they were demanding a king. 
तिनीहरुले चाहिँ परमेश्वरले चाहिँ स्वयं आफै एउटा राजा अनि उनले चाहिँ मानिसहरुको न्याय गर्नु हुने को के गरेर चाहिँ हेर्ने व्यक्ति वहा आफै नै हुनुहुन्थ्यो वहा आफै पनि इजरायलको राजामै हो भनेर चाहिँ वहा गर्न चाहनुहुन्थ्यो तर पनि त्यस्तो राम्रो राजा भए तापनि इजरायलीहरुले चाहिँ तिनी परमेश्वरलाई चाहिँ इन्कार गर्यो र अन्तिममा चाहिँ तिनीहरुले चाहिँ एउटा देखिने राजा अरु देश जस्तै तिनीहरुको जुन छ राजा त्यस्तै नै हामीले पनि चाहियो भने तिनीहरु चाहिँ माग गर्यो The Lord only wanted the the Lord's plan for Israel was he alone was going to be king. He never wanted Israel to have any king but him, but the Lord of Lords, but the Lord God himself. He was to be king of Israel and no other. जो प्रभु और का प्रभु जो छवान ने चाहे इजरायल हरु का चाहे माँ आपने ने राजा हो आ राजा होना चाहनो थे तरह पानी तीन हरे तीन लाइक परमेश्वर संग चाहे माँ को इच्छा योजना ये तो माँ चाहे इन्हें को राजा इन्हें ले चाहे माँ गाइड करने काम कर सो अन्य तरह पानी तीन हरे चाहे आ ते रिजल्ट गाइड को करा रू But Israel rejected God's plan and they demanded to have their own plans. We can either have God's best plan or we can reject our his God's plans for us and go on with our plans. We can have either walk in God's best way or go, go with the second best. Ah, ani Israeli or let's say yo bani ki kita hamile permission ko permission let's say hamro lagi or hamro ki gari dios. लाइक तिनीहरु को आनन्द मोज मजा त्यस्तै खाले तिनीहरु चाहन्छ परमेश्वरबाट त्यो नभए त्यो यदि परमेश्वरले गर्नु हुँदैन भने हामीले चाहिँ जुन योजना हामीले लाजेको छौ जुन हामीले माग गरिरहेका छौ त्यो कुरालाई चाहिँ पूरा गर्दिनुस् दुई मते एउटा चाहिँ हामीले चाहियो भने इजरायलीहरुले माग गर्यो सो साउल वाज चोजन टु बी किंग अनि त्यहाँ चाहिँ अब साउलको कुरा आउँछ साउल चाहिँ एउटा राजाको रूपमा चुनिएको छ Saul looks like a king. He was taller than everyone else. He was head and shou shoulders taller than the rest, of the most of the men of Israel. And Saul was very handsome. Saul चाहे ये वाला ये वाला खिरी पानी राजा होने जो तो खाली देखी नहीं ना आपनों बानी सर को बीस बच्चे वो चाहे एक कार्ड वाटाओ को अन्य माथी त्यो त्यो चाहे अन्य त्यो देखी ना वाले एकदम हैंसम त्यो रे yes At first, Saul was a humble man. He walked in humility. अनि साउ चाहिँ एकदमै लाइक हाम्रो व्यक्ति थियो पहिला चाहिँ Saul started out winning victories when Israel fought against the Philistines and the Amalekites and the Ammonites. अनि साउ चाहिँ उनको नम्रताको कारणले गर्दाखेरि चाहिँ जब राजा भइसके तब चाहिँ इजरायलीहरुको लागि चाहिँ इजरायलीहरुले जब फलिस्टीहरूसँग मालिकीहरू अनि अमोनीहरूसँग जब तिनीहरू चाहिँ युद्ध मगाए तब तिनीहरू चाहिँ साउलद्वारा तिनीहरू विजय भयो बट एज साउ वन द विक्ट्रीज एन्ड ही रुल्ड एज किंग ही फा ही वान्डर्ड फार्दर एन्ड फार्दर अवे फ्रम गाड तर साउ चाहिँ जसरी ऊ चाहिँ विजय हुँदै गयो विजय हुँदै गयो त्यसरी नै चाहिँ परमेश्वरबाट टाढा टाढा पनि हुँदै गयो Saul failed God in several ways. In fact, there are five ways that are listed here. Number one, he compromised at God's altar. Number two, he was cruel to his son Jonathan. Number three, he disobeyed God in his battle with Amalek. Number four, he was jealous and he hated David. And number five, he went to a witch to summon to uh, to summon dead Samuel because he knew that he was going to lose his battle, going to lose the war. अनि यानी रचे साउंड से किना परमिशन को नजर में खासे होता है किना चेक फेल भायो बने यार कि पांच और डा पॉइंट होते हैं छापाइल रचे उस ले चाहे आप है चाहे योड़ा राजा को योड़ा पुजारी जस्ते बोलना खोज रहा उस ले चाहे तो बेदी मार चाहे आप के योड़ा पूजा करना पुगे को पूरा हो चाहे दूसरों चाहे वो चाहे आ आपने छोरा प्रार्थी चाहे रिसाय को पूरा हो चाहे जोनाथन जो चाहे डेविड को एकदम एक मित्र थियो अन्य उस ले चाहे परमिशन लाए परमिशन को आगे पालन करेना रहा उस ले चाहे अमाली के और संगत से योद्धा का देख रही जोन 
तिमी जीव तो नल्यान ये कुछ नराख् भाग जो साउल आज्ञा कर साउल ने आज्ञा नगर को कारण अर्क अनाज्ञाकारिता भो अ चार नंबर में उसने दाऊद राजा सब जेलस भो अच्छे ऊ जब ऊ हो तीखेरा चाहे हार थालों बैटल तब ऊ बोक्सी या भूटर को झाँकी तंत्र मंत्र करने कहा गए Samuel had high hopes for Saul, yet Saul failed him because Saul did not fully follow God. In all his life, Samuel mourned for King Saul. अने सामुएल संग चे साउल को लाइक एक दम एक फुल आशा थी उसको नम्रता को कारण करने के लिए तरह साउल चे परमिशन ले चे आगे आपालन करें ना वहाँ को पूरा सुने काम करें ना उसे अलग ये कार्य तमाह ही लो Samuel tried to win Saul back to God, but because Saul was now king, he did not think that he needed Saul anymore. While Saul, Samuel was alive, was alive, Saul was guilty of compromise and pride. Ah, ani zaba chay Saul theo aja ana ge kari thama hindu thava. Samuel ko ichha chay yo theo ki hoche theeri pani parmeshwar tira Saul chay parmeshwar tira farkos bani na thara. साउल ने ती कुछ बारे में सोचने करेन तर लास्ट में गए ऊँच वेदी में आप परमेश्वर खुशी प्रसन्न पारने प्रसन्न पारने प्रयास जो ऊँचा राजा को लगी एपोइंट जो जो छान थी तर पुजारी चाहे थे तर ते कुछ उसे पुगो As a result of Saul's disobedience, he lost the dynasty. Saul remained king for the rest of his life, but his life did not end well. अने ती अनाज्य कारिता को कारण गर दाय खेरी साल से लास्ट में से अपनो त्यो अपनो सिंहासन जो तो राजा को पाल त्यो चाहे घुमायो रा लास्ट में से उसको मृत्यु पानी या नराम्रो तरीका ले होना पुरे तो चाहे Through his life, Saul waged six campaigns. He had six uh, battles to fight, six wars to fight. I mean, Saul is a yani ras chhawada shram ko lagi like kyun cha? Ma campaign ten ki kyun cha? Tei bana ko kura haru. The first one was against the Ammonites, and his prestige as king was strengthened. He was strengthened as king because of this the winning of this battle. उसले उसले विरुद्धिंग अने उसले फिर पाली पलिस्टेल को बियों दमा खड़ा गया है तारा यानी रचे उसले ये डा पुजारी को रोल खेले रा सेक्रिफाइस करने पूरा आरु आ गरे तारा पर खाए आरु मानो भाई रा या कहेरी ता ना भाई रा उसे आफे चे ये डा पुजारी को पाल दिन अपुर्गे और जहाँ चे उसले फिर पाली पाप गरी बासे कोसा Samuel, I'm sorry. Saul won that battle only because Jonathan caused his son Jonathan caused panic in the Philistines through his amazing victory. The he that was the only way he won. Saul ne chay apno chora Jonathan ko kaal ne matri chay wo chay vijay ho puri chay. Then he fought against the Amalekites. And Saul drove them into the desert, but he disobeyed God in seizing their their property, their valuable property, and he allowed the king to to live. Samuel had to kill him, not Saul. तो अने साउल चाहे फिर पने अमाले के अर्को बिर तो ना खड़ा बारे तीन अर्ले चाहे मर भूमि समय तीन अर्ले खेदे तो रायो रा चाहे अना क्या कार्य तको काम चाहे परमिशन ले चाहे जस्ट तीन हर चाहे तीन हर को कुने पनी धान संपत्ति माल और ना लिनु अथवा त्याग को राजा ले चाहे तीन ने मार दिनो बने रखाने को थियो तर जन चाहे साउले पूरा करना पुगे ना अंतिम मार चाहे सामुए ले चाहे तो राजा ले पनी सामुए ले नहीं मारो then he had then Saul had to fight the Philistines again he was in constant war warfare with them because of his disobedience 
And that was the time when David, as a teenager, a young boy, he killed Goliath, which caused fear among the Philistines. And David won distinction because of that. And then Saul waged war against David. His blind jealousy drove Saul to drop to try to kill David, and he caused him to be an outcast. Yet David refused to kill Saul, even though he knew that he was supposed to be king. Uh, Doubt and then Saul had to fight the Philistines again. Saul, went, he sought out a witch, which, which was against God's will, to seek dead Samuel's counsel because he was desperate. And he was told that this was going to be his last war and he would be killed. And he was killed along with all of his sons. Uh, God had another plan. And who would like to read 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 1? Ah, <laughs> The Lord rebuked Samuel, even though Samuel Samuel was grieving for Saul, for and he was mourning for Saul uh, because of Saul's lack of um, his lack of um, comprom his compromise and his pride. And but the Lord sent Samuel on a journey to go and anoint another king. The Lord sent Samuel to Jesse's house in Bethlehem with his oil, and he commanded him to anoint the son of, of the Lord's choosing. The Lord did not choose the tallest nor the most handsome son this time. The Lord chose what we would call the runt of the litter, the youngest son. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
दाऊद राजा लाई चाहिए और इसे कर मारा तो आ गया करने वाले तरह त्याने रहा उसको बुआ ले चाहिए अथवा उसको कार पर वाले चाहिए तो चाहिए अली तो राजा उनको लागी योग्य चाहिए ना त्याने रहा अली राजा उन्हें ले चाहिए और इसे करने पर उन्हें चाहिए मानी रहे को थे ना उसको पर वाले and so Dan David at that time was not even a man. He was still a, little, a young boy. He was a teenage boy. Yeah, who, who would like, um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to back up a little bit, sorry. Um, so he was not even in court and considered important enough to be followed, but to be enough by his fathers and brothers to call him out of the fields when Samuel arrived with the oil. Yet David called, but the Lord called David a man after God's own heart. Why do you think that, he, um, go ahead, Ab, just interpret what I just said. Why do you think that the Lord called David a man after God's own heart? Yeah, does anybody know why David was called a man after God's own heart? Because he is he, uh, he is obedience and I think uh, Yeah, he's saying like he was a obedient people and obedient person. He was obedient. Yeah, he not only was David obedient, but he was he loved the Lord with all his heart. When he <laughs> he was passionate for God and he wrote songs for God. This all of the book of Psalms are songs that David had. Well, most of them are are songs that David wrote. To, uh, as a love song to the Lord. Who would like to read 1 Samuel 17 verses 10 through 13? Thank you. So David, here he was a teenage boy. He was not even old enough to fight in the battle, but they were went to. Uh, but he, when he was went to the war, went to the front to uh, to give his brothers bread and uh, food. He saw Goliath. We know this. Do you know the story of Goliath? Goliath, yes. 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 And he's 
And so David was more passionate. He knew that God could use anybody to confront the enemies, to take down the enemies, even a teenage boy. And David was ready to, to take down Goliath because he believed God more than more than being afraid. Uh, so next week we're going to talk about the beginning of the about the day uh, David's dynasty and the beginning of the messianic dynasty. It was through David that Jesus was born and became our savior. It was through his family line. And for next week, I did not put it on your um your notes. I, I'm sorry, but I didn't um I wanted to give you homework for next week. So I'm gonna give you some scriptures to read, some Bible verses. I want you to write down, I want you to read 2 Samuel chapter 2, chapter 2 through 8, chapters 2 through 8. Samuel chapter 2, summer. Sorry. Okay, Second Samuel, uh, verse uh, chapters eleven and twelve. And Second okay. Samuel chapters fifteen through eighteen. And and also for your homework, I'd like to have you write out a description of David, what you know about David. Okay, so I know it's 11, um, it's, is it time to, uh, are we done yet? I think we're pretty much done, aren't we? Yes, ma'am, yes. Yes, okay, uh, we don't have any time for questions, correct? Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay, one day has Okay. Oh, you have a question? Okay, great. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Uh, I have one question. Yes. Has Saul really called out the script of Samuel by wish? If not, who had come instead of Samuel's script? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Could you repeat that? Has Saul really uh, called out the spirit of Samuel uh, through the witch? Yeah. If not, if not, who would come instead of Samuel's spirit? Oh, do you um? It would. Do you think it might have been not been Samuel's spirit that came and talked to Saul through the witch? Yeah. It it was him. It was Samuel. He was called out from the dead. I don't I don't understand all of it too because if we did that. It would be a demon if we tried to do that. But for some reason in that time and in that incidence, it was Samuel talk, you know, talking from heaven, talking uh, to, to Saul. And you know what he said is, why are you calling me? <laughs> why? Why are you bothering me? You should know yourself. Why you're coming to me now after not listening to me when I was alive? <laughs> you know. But it was, Saul. I believe it was Samuel. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Bless you. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, ma'am. We have no, okay. we can. Are we done? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me pray a closing prayer for you. And uh, next week, we, if you would write out just a couple of sentences, what you know about King David, I will ask any one of you to just to come up and read that for us. So that's what I want you to be prepared to write out a, 
just a couple of sentences. What do you know about King David? So, Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you and praise you for your glory. I thank you, Lord, for us learning about um, Saul, Samuel and Saul and David. Lord, there's things that you want to teach us through, through their lives, oh God. And Lord, thank you for the examples that we have we have in reading your word. And I pray, Lord, that this would um, that we would have a greater under understanding and a greater degree of of knowing um, of the significance of who you are and what you can do, the possibilities of how you can use each and every one of us in our ministries, Lord. Bless these students, oh God, as they as we study about David, Lord. Bless them. Bless their going out and bless their coming in. I pray this in your precious name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.